Hello everybody. The crystal of the day is green adventuring because it brings good luck and I'm wishing you good luck on your life's purpose and journey. It's your girl baby J, Jalen the alien, whatever you want to call me. Thank you for coming here and guess what? Before you go straight to your timestamps and don't look at me anymore because you just don't care about my intros. Y'all really do not care about my intros sometimes. Like, your girl for a little bit like give me two minutes one minute before you go straight to your timestamps you must know that this video has nothing to do with your sun sign unless your sun sign has the same sign as your north node sign yes this video is all about north nodes because in astrology the north node is one of the nodes that help to represent your life purpose the north node is actually one of two mathematical points on the moon the north node represents your purpose in this life Time and it's usually things that you're not quite familiar with. The North Node represents the experiences and the talents and the natural energy in your life that you're not used to, but it is what you need to experience so that you can be fulfilled in life. This is your destiny, this is your purpose, this is what you decided to do before you came here. And the South Node represents who you were in a past life. And if you don't believe in past lives and all that stuff, it represents the energy that you already came here with, it represents your natural talent. It represents the stuff that you're just used to, your comfort zone. And the North Node represents things that you are completely uncomfortable with at first. Usually, unless you already have like the same sign in somewhere else in your chart, you might be a little bit uncomfortable or nervous about your North Node placement. But guess what? It's so important because the North Node represents purpose. I am a believer of purpose. I believe that every single human being that comes here has a purpose. And it is a part of my goal and my life mission to study all the different ways that we can understand purpose why we came here what we came here to do that's why I love astrology I love numerology I love spirituality I even love studying religion because these are all very abstract ways to understand the human experience and why we came here when you are walking in your divine purpose there's nothing like it one of the main reasons for suicide is people just really don't feel connected to their purpose they feel like their life lacks purpose they feel like they're insignificant but guess what we all came here for a purpose and it is my duty and my destiny to show y'all and introduce y'all to y'all purpose and the purpose more importantly that was given to you by the stars. I'm a stargazer so I want to let y'all know from astrology's point of view what your purpose is so you can walk in it and you can feel complete in your life. You know what I'm saying? So let's get right into it. To find out your North Node placement, there is going to be a North Node calculator in the description box as well as a birth chart calculator in a description box because if you are new to astrology and you just know your sun sign, you have a whole chart and all the planets of the solar system represent different parts of our being. Make sure you go down in the description box and look at the pinned comment to check out your North Node. Not only do I want you to check out the sign of your North Node, I want you to also check out the house placement of your North Node. The house placement gives another layer of your North Node and gives you kind of the exact area of life that is going to be most affected. It just gives another layer to it. So check out your sign placement and also check out your house placement. And just know, I can't see your full birth chart. So you might not be able to relate to everything I'm saying. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if you want me to check out your birth chart and do a simple birth chart reading for you, I I am now doing $20 birth chart reading, $20 birth chart readings, yes, it's so lit. So go down in the description box if you're interested in that as well and I can break it all down to you. When a person's north node is in the first house or in Aries, that automatically means that their south node is in the sign of Libra or the seventh house. So with that energy, what that means for you in this life is that in this life you need to understand and really learn how to be courageous, how to be independent dependent, how to be bold, how to really stop caring about what other people think because in a past life you are very very dependent on others so much so that it was to a fault. You couldn't make a decision or do anything unless you got somebody else's approval but what is the Aries? The Aries is somebody that is bold. The first house, this is about you. Your life is about you, it's about what you want to do and it's about the, the steps that you want to take. It's about putting yourself out there. It's about being an individual. It's about not being afraid to do new things and not to be a pushover because maybe in this 
life, you're a little bit of a pushover and you let people walk all over you. Maybe you don't express your anger in effective ways and you just always swallow your anger. You never really put it out there. Maybe you rely too much on other people. You know what I'm saying? This could also be a person in their past life. They got married way too young or way too early before they even fully understood who they were as an individual. In this life, you need to understand who you are as an individual. What energy are you bringing to the table, figuring yourself out and being bold? Put it out there for the whole world to see. You don't have to listen to other people's opinion. You care too much. You have a tendency to care a little bit too much about what other people have to say. And in this lifetime, you are blessed with walking into this path of being the leader. It is time for you to be the leader. As the first house Aries person, Person, you got to put yourself out there. You got to be adventurous. You have to explore. You have to be courageous and you have to learn how to be brave. In, in this life, you may not feel comfortable all the way when you're completely alone. You might feel nervous to be alone. You might notice that you could fall into these habits and these routines when you don't feel completely satisfied when you are by yourself as a person. But in this life, you got to go out of your comfort zone and you got to learn how to be independent. You have to learn how to be an individual who is proud of who they are and understands who they are and knows who they are, owns who they are, and embraces their own inner power and is not afraid to tell people to shut the hell up. <laughs> Especially when they need to shut the hell up. In other lifetimes or in earlier in your life, you might have a tendency or maybe in another lifetime, you naturally just let other people walk over you or you might have let other people shine and maybe you you tried to be this supportive friend and you supported other people's careers you always tried to keep the peace but in this lifetime you got to shake some shit up you got to shake things up you got to shake yourself up and you need to awaken this warrior with inside you the one who fights the one who says what they want to say the one who does what they want to do whenever they want to do it do not compromise yourself in this lifetime stop compromising yourself you were meant to be the star it is your destiny to shine and to be an individual and to be bold you got to be a person that's not afraid to just go after things on their own and that's really the basis of your purpose in this life is to understand how to be a leader and to understand how to just go how to do how to do how, use your instincts and just go as a Taurus North Node, it is your destiny to learn how to build wealth. You are destined to make money. You are destined to learn how to make money and how to depend and rely on yourself. You are destined to learn how to build security. You are destined to learn how to appreciate all the earthly things. You are destined to learn how to appreciate all the simple things that this earth has for you. All the material resources. It is about getting your own business it's about getting a job it's about being an entrepreneur it's about learning how to build wealth it's about learning how to get a house it's about learning how to you know to everything that this earth has to offer when it comes to material things it's time for you to experience that because in other lifetimes you relied way too much on other people to give you financial security maybe you got financial security from other people Maybe you came from a rich family and you don't know how to make wealth on your own. Or maybe you had a rich husband and the rich husband supplied everything that you needed. You know what I'm saying? But it is your destiny in this lifetime to understand how to build wealth for yourself. Go outside, smell the roses, hug a tree. This is what you're meant to do, okay? Earthy, get earthy, get grounded, appreciate the earth around you and appreciate everything that you can just see physically. You might have this natural tendency to look at everything very deeply and to make things complicated. And stuff could have got hectic. Stuff could have got really hectic. There could have been all this emotional intensity and all these really sexual relationships that drained the hell out of you. And you could find in this lifetime, maybe it's easy for you to fall in those emotional, intense, toxic relationships or these toxic situations or whatever the case is because Scorpio is all about tearing stuff down to build it back up. But guess what? In this lifetime, you don't have to do that. In this lifetime, you need to understand the difference between resilience, which is really lasting through the trauma, 
and persistent which is being persistent in a way that you are building your own security you don't have to always be in all this emotional toxic drama to be happy in life in this lifetime you can find happiness and fulfillment in regular things in the simple things that this beautiful world has to offer sometimes the best things in life are these simple things that we see all around us you came here to get grounded you came here to build a home for yourself you know you came here to make money and to actually care about financial stuff you have a gift of connecting with people and others in a very deep profound way but you need to take this and integrate this with making it stable with making it something that you can rely on it's about understanding this reality okay you might have a natural tendency to go towards the occult and to see things from this very deep perspective so much so that you could complicate things and overcomplicate things when sometimes you just gotta embrace what is in front of you in past lifetimes maybe you seduced people and used your sexuality for reasons that weren't pure <laughs> okay maybe you tried to seduce people out of their money Maybe you tried to manipulate others. Maybe you were being way too secretive and it's like maybe in this lifetime you just feel like you have to hold in all these secrets and you have to be this intense person all the time. When life is trying to tell you right now that it's okay to go outside and take in a big breath of fresh air and appreciate everything around you, hug a tree, kiss the grass, roll around and laugh and just enjoy the simple physical pleasure that this, that this world has to offer you. Your job is to understand how to get a job is to understand how to build a job how to build wealth for yourself to be financially independent within yourself to work hard to be persistent to build something that took a while but you made it and you did it on your own you need to work on your root chakra the root chakra is the first chakra of the seven chakras and it's located right at your like pelvis area right down there by your private parts and stuff yes that area is something that you need to connect to and work with because that area has everything to do with security financial security feeling confident in yourself having a strong self-esteem feeling good with your body feeling connected with the earth feeling grounded okay go outside walk barefoot and just really appreciate your life and your body and appreciate other people's bodies feel beautiful you know feel don't feel like you can't feel beautiful you can't get luxurious things don't feel like you can't enjoy what this world has to offer and you can't see the finer things in life it is okay all right understand that you have a gift to really connect with people deeply you have this sexual energy within you you have this magnetism within you you have this ability to get in tune with people in a way that most people are not going to understand right and you could fall into people and you could become one with people right but don't forget about your life <laughs> Don't forget you gotta pay the bills. Don't forget about your daily habits and activities. Get artsy. Get creative. You know, this is the photographer. This is the singer. This is the artist and the painter. This is Venus, okay? So, like, do those type of things as well. Even if you feel like you can't relate to any of it, okay? Even if you feel like, I'm not an artist. What are you talking about? Try it. Do yoga or something. <laughs> so with the North Node in Gemini, that automatically means that your South Node was in Sagittarius. Or if your North Node was in the third house, then your, it means your South Node is in the ninth house. So with this energy, that means in this lifetime, you have to stop feeling like you don't have to rely on others. You don't need others. You don't need nobody. And you need to understand the ways of the Gemini, the ways of communication, the ways of curiousness, being curious, having curiosity about the world around you and your in your city in your hometown in your community you know because in past lifetimes you were nowhere near home you traveled the world by yourself and you got to experience all types of cool things but at the end of the day in this lifetime you need to learn how to you know talk to other people not just be out here you know on this journey of life and forgetting about people around you it's about creating a network to get things done you know this this is about socializing with others to create
create things and to collaborate and to get things done. You know what I'm saying? It's about having regular conversations with people and exploring their minds. Don't pretend like you know it all. Understand that the world, the people around you, the, the human walking down the street that you, you see every single day for some reason. You do naturally have this intuitive Sagittarian energy and you, you're able to think expansively. But you need to take that, that ability to expand your mind and bring it a little bit down to earth, just a little bit more down to earth. You need to understand that even the person walking down the street that you see every day and they look regular, normal as day, that person can actually teach you a lot about life. You know, the world around you and your surroundings is your teacher. Even the person that you think that you can't even relate to in no type of ways, talk to them, explore their mind. Have a different conversation with the people at a lunch table that is a little bit further from yours. But having conversations with people and communicating with people around you is a key part to actually understanding your destiny. It's about having all these philosophical thoughts and having all these creative ideas and having all these big, 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 big expansive ideas, but having the facts to back them up. Because this is Gemini. This is air sign we're talking about, right? So they got their facts. They got their facts down packed. They got their sources. It's about exploring multiple topics and you don't have to go so deeply into all those topics, but you can just explore things just to explore them. It's about integrating this naturally expansive energy that you already have and channeling that energy into something that we can all relate to. So maybe it is being a writer. Maybe it's writing a blog. What you're really trying to learn is how to become the student instead of the teacher because in past lifetimes you could have been a preacher. You could have knew it all. You know, you could have been out there talking to people and, and just being like, this is what it is, this is how it is, and I know everything. Well, now you don't. In this lifetime, you got to explore your surroundings. And it's also, it also may be about even connecting with your family more, or talking to your siblings and your cousins, because maybe you just kind of said, you know what, peace out. But no, talk to your siblings. Be the bigger sister, be the older brother, or the younger, whatever the case is. Talk to your siblings, talk to your family, talk to everyone. <laughs> it's about being in the moment, because there could have been times where you were so philosophical and you were so thinking about the world and how it came to be that you kind of forgot to think about what am I even doing with my life right now? <laughs> and that might be a tendency. You might have a tendency to be all the way out here in the clouds when you really got to come back down here. And I'm not saying that you can't be curious and you can't explore the world. But what I am saying is don't forget about the present moment. Don't forget about the simple conversation that you'll have with others. Don't forget about talking to people because you might have a tendency to be too serious. But it's about being a little bit more playful, okay? Playfully talking to people playfully flirting with people, you know, getting to know what other people know, you know what I'm saying? Building a network with people, connecting with others, you know what I'm saying? Writing for a blog, maybe even writing about entertainment, whatever the case is. Just taking your natural abilities to think expansively and to channel that into something that is closer to your surroundings. It's about hearing what other people have to say to you because there could be a tendency to be like, you can't tell nothing to me, like, I already know what's going on. I've been there. I did that. But guess what? People will surprise you if you let them. Learning how to listen. Learning how to receive. Okay? We're learning how to partner with others and to collaborate with others to create really cool things. Like, it's about actually having hobbies. Maybe you do want to make a YouTube channel where you talk about something really, really cool, really, really expansive, but you do that on YouTube or whatever the case is. It's not always thinking about the future, but thinking about how can I take what I know and put it into something that I can do right now and I could do on a daily basis. It could even be about getting actively involved in your community. You get involved in your high school. If you if you go to college, maybe get involved in college activities, you know what I'm saying? In different college organizations or different clubs, whatever the case is in school, you know what I mean? There might be a fear that you have when it comes to your freedom. You might really really fear losing freedom so much so that it actually is a little too much. Being there for others and listening to others and being active in your community, being active in your family and like with your siblings, being active in situations like that where you do take in account other people's feelings and emotions, that doesn't mean you're losing your freedom. It's actually giving you more freedom because once you are able to communicate with others and once you are able to learn how to have very meaningful and intelligent conversations 
conversations with others you can actually see that you can learn a lot from other people and all that knowledge and information that you gain from others and other people as well as all these outside things and all these very expansive things that are coming from your own experience put that together and that is really truly creating the sense of fulfillment in your life that you wouldn't you previously would not have even experienced Stopping for a moment and pausing to really gather the details, to take in other people's perspectives, is not losing your freedom, okay? You could even be a public speaker in this lifetime if you want to, but you have to prepare. You have to study. You have to prepare. You have to know your stuff, like, in a really detail-oriented way. So don't bite off more than you can chew. Don't get involved in too many things and then you're just like, whoa, this unreliable person that nobody can count on. You gotta learn to be somebody that is reliable, somebody that doesn't flake, somebody that's here for others, and somebody that is an active participant in their community. Okay, so if your north node is in Cancer or the fourth house, that automatically means that your south node is in Capricorn or the tenth house. So if your north node is in Cancer, what you really need to experience in this lifetime is being emotional. <laughs> You need to get into your emotional bag. You need to be like Drake back in 2009, okay? You gotta get in your bag, in your emotional bag. You need to cry a little bit. You need to learn how to get in tune with your emotions and making emotional attachments to other people, actually caring about other people. Maybe it's even having a family. It's learning how to be the nurturer. It's learning how to be this nurturing, loving energy. It's learning how to really emotionally get in tune with other people, getting in tune with your own intuition this is about embracing the divine feminine energy which is all about intuition it's about creativity it's about this nurturing energy because in a past life you were so 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 focused on making money making a name for yourself you know building a career it was always career 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 if you don't got your career going on then you don't have anything going on you always put a relationship aside you always put your family aside you always put your family aside for your job for your work for your status for your reputation but now in this life you gotta learn how to balance both of these energies and to integrate both of these energies. It's not just all focused about your career. It's not all focused about your money. It's not all focused about your stability. It's about having that, but also having these emotional connections to your family or to friends, to a relationship, whatever. This kind of gives me the energy of maybe like you were like a famous person that you know, cared so much about your status and how you appeared to others of being the superstar. But then you got so lost into that because you lost your sense of self. You lost your roots. You lost who you were before you even got into the industry. And you're wondering why you're so stressed out. Because And it's because you lost your roots. You lost your foundation. Without the 4th house, there would be no 10th house, okay? You gotta be in tune with who you really are. And you gotta be comfortable with yourself. You gotta know what intuitively resonates with your being, your soul, okay? Your family, things that are familiar to you, your home. You might even have to nurture your relationship with your mother. And you, and like, I don't know, this could scare some people, but there might actually be a destiny here for you to actually have a baby, to have a child, to be a mother, or to at least be a parent, and to be somebody who is there for their children and there for their family, and actually actually cares about their home you know what I'm saying that could also be a part of your destiny but you are destined to learn how to get in tune with your emotions in a healthy way while also having status while also having a career for yourself but just not forgetting about your family and friends that is the energy that you're learning how to balance in this lifetime because if you don't do this you're gonna find yourself having everything having the status having the career having the amazing reputation but being lonely at the top and feeling like something is missing. 
So get in tune to your heart chakra. Hold your heart chakra. Meditate with your heart chakra. This is your capacity for emotion. This is compassion. This is self-care. These are the things that you need to start incorporating into your life. It's not all about career. Because if you lose yourself in your career, you're going to forget about yourself. And your emotional, mental health is going to suffer. You are more than just your accomplishments. You are a human being. So get to know yourself on a very deep, intrinsic, intuitive level level it don't always gotta be grind 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 look at me look what i'm doing you know i'm in school i'm doing this i'm doing that i got a career i got this fat you know i got these all these accomplishments da, 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 da. no but what about your family though what about your emotions did you get some sleep last night you know what i'm saying have you drank any tea when's the last time you meditated when's the last time you had a good cry because maybe depending on the rest of your chart maybe the connection with that you have with your mother is a little bit messed up maybe you need a heal some issues there or maybe you just need to understand that it's okay to have feelings and you don't got to be this ruthless person that doesn't care about other people no you can care about other people it's actually part of your destiny too all right you don't got to be cold you don't got to be this hard ass all the time it's okay to cry okay <laughs> if you have your north node in leo or the fifth house that means you automatically have your south node in aquarius or the 11th house. And right off the back, this is one of my favorite North Node placements because you came here to learn how to be a star. You came here to learn how to put yourself out there, to embrace your natural God-given creativity and talents and to express this to the public. This is about understanding that life is a stage, okay? You need to treat you need to treat the world like that Shakespeare quote. You know, something something life is a stage, okay? This life Life is your stage do not be too shy and not and limit yourself don't let yourself fall into this group mentality because maybe you have a tendency with that 11th house or that Aquarius South node to be a person that gets lost in the crowd to really hold on tightly to a group and maybe you have ideas maybe you have different ideas maybe you have this individually creative mind but and maybe you have all these unique hidden talents you're you need to express that being yourself and by yourself. You don't always gotta be with the group. Maybe you're in a situation where you feel like you're stuck in a group and everybody else is not doing their part, but you're like, you know, I, I wanna be there for them. You know, I'm gonna help them. No, you need to help yourself in this lifetime. You need to take your God-given creative talents and you need to actually put it out there. Don't be too shy. Don't feel guilty for putting yourself out there because you came here to be a star. You came here to shine on an individual level this is the fifth house this is Leo this is the person who puts themselves out there and shines this is fun energy it's to have fun it's to let loose and to just be yourself and you'll be so surprised people will actually really really like you people will like what you have to say people will like the talents that you have maybe you can sing maybe you can dance maybe you're an artist whatever the case is maybe you're a public speaker maybe you have have these innate talents within you but you gotta let people know man this is like Beyonce and Destiny's Child sometimes you gotta just be your own act okay if you have your North Node in Leo whatever house that is in that's an area in your life where you really could shine where you could receive recognition where you could be the individual leader but this lifetime is all about embracing your creativity and expressing that because with that Aquarius South Node you are unique you have an interesting mind you have an interesting way of looking at the world there's some unique eccentricness there but do we know about it can we hear about it express that in your art express that in your personal creativity that thing in your closet that you're afraid to wear that you know you really really want to wear wear it you may be the type of person that is afraid to express their truth outside of a group context you might have your own individual truth even within your group of friends, but you feel like you can't speak about it because maybe you care too much about being liked by others. You don't understand. People are going to like you more when you just do you. In the past life, you could have been too cold. You could have been emotionally detached to things, and you just saw that it was logically okay to do certain things, so you did it. And maybe this was in a group context. But in this life, you have to understand and learn how to follow your heart. And that sounds like so 2006 Disney movie, but literally, you gotta follow your heart, man. And you gotta really enjoy this life and feel 
in your life fun. Seek out the things that really make you have a good time. Really get into your desires, your personal desires. What do you personally want to do? It always doesn't have to serve humanity. Sometimes it can serve yourself. Sometimes you got to do things for yourself and enjoy the luxuries of life. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. Money is not the root of evil. Money is not the root of evil. It's what you do with the money. So have fun, get a little sensual and sexual, okay? Enjoy yourself, put yourself out there and be the individual that you are. Let's see your creative talents. Let's see your creative expression. Let us know your creative talents. Let us know your creative expression. Let's see it, put it out there. The world is your stage, work it. And if your friends don't understand that and they don't accept you for being the person that you are individually, those weren't your friends to begin with. If your North Node is in Virgo or the sixth house that automatically means that your south node is in Pisces or the 12th house. I actually have this placement, so I'm going to tell y'all, I'm going to just give it to you straight. Your destiny in this lifetime is to learn how to actualize your boundless vision. You could have quite frankly came from a place that was boundless. You could have came from a place, you could have came from this spiritual energy where you could think about something and it could instantly manifest right in front of you. And you could have came from this place where you could actually believe that everything is going to be okay. And it was because that was the dimension that you were living in. Now you're coming back down to this more Saturnian, structured, realistic reality. And you got to integrate that new energy of Virgo to you that is going to bring you the structure to actually actualize these crazy, imaginative, visionary ideas that you have within you because you have that. You have that gift of spirituality. You are a natural psychic. You are a natural person that has this amazing creativity, that has this amazing imaginative energy, that has this boundless, directionless energy. And you need to learn how to channel that energy into a very structured, detail-oriented way so you can actualize it. It's about learning how to be the visionary. It's about learning how to be the genius. You have to take things that nobody else can see and that nobody else can feel and you need to make it in a way so that other people can see and experience it. Maybe on a practical day-to-day -day basis way because the sixth house is all about your daily routine. It's about practicality. So you need to learn how to make a plan. Okay, you need to learn how to make a plan. You need to learn how to get into details. You need to learn practicality. You need to learn how to structure your boundless energy so the world can experience this. You have an innate spirituality and connection to the other realms that is unmatched, but you have to channel this into this lifetime. What do you want to do with this life? Have fun with this life and understand that you can create anything, but it's going to take work. It's going to take action. It's going to take some effort efficient planning and skills, all right, to get it done. Your job, your journey, and your purpose in this lifetime is to understand how to make a plan and to see that plan through to make something amazing, something that people can actually feel good about. Maybe it's making a YouTube channel and talking about spirituality, talking about the law of attraction, whatever the case is, all this out there things, but you're uploading every week. You're uploading every week. You got a schedule. You're on point. You're making money because guess what? You have an efficient plan for yourself. It's about being responsible. Other people may be relying on you, but you got to be there. You, you can't be a flake. You got to be there. You got to be present. You got to be present in this reality. I have this placement. I struggled with depersonalization. Depersonalization disorder is literally feeling like you are not connected to this reality, feeling like everything is a dream. But they say that what really helps you is to get involved into your day-to-day -day routine, to feel into your body. Maybe it's taking care of your body because in another lifetime, you could have been an escapist. You could have been an escape artist. Maybe you were an alcoholic. Maybe you, you were into drugs. Maybe you watch Netflix way too much in this lifetime, whatever it is. You got to learn how to be present for yourself in this lifetime. You got to take care of your health, your physical body, work out, go to the gym. Don't let it all go. All this earthly stuff does matter. Understand that it does and understand how to work with that energy to benefit you in this particular dimension and lifetime. Don't run away from your problems. Handle them head on. That's what a Virgo does. A Virgo sits there and says, oh, we have an issue. We're going to come up with a very structured plan. We're going to come up with some 
detail-oriented plan to handle this issue. We're gonna get it done. And don't be afraid of commitments. Commit to things, commit to love, commit to other people, commit to other events, get involved, it's fine. Be on time, okay? These are things that you gotta learn in this lifetime. And once you start doing it, once you start making plans, once you start reading more, and once you start getting into this earthly bag, it's gonna feel fulfilling to you. You don't gotta throw away your spirituality. You don't gotta throw away your Pisces energy. You don't gotta do it. But you do have to incorporate a plan with it. You do gotta incorporate and integrate these two beautiful energies to create beautiful visionary things in this lifetime. Virgo and Pisces both do help others, but sometimes Pisces can have this very martyr-like, self-sacrificing energy to them where it's like you're helping all these other people, but then you're forgetting about yourself. You're so goddamn compassionate that you're letting people use and abuse you. But guess what? Virgo doesn't. Virgo's like, I'm going to help others. I'm going to help other people, but I'm going to do it in a practical way. I'm not going to forget about myself. You got this cup and you're giving a cup out to everybody, but it's not full no more. You don't got nothing left to give. So in this lifetime, you really have to understand how to be practical. When you have your north node in Libra or in the seventh house, that automatically means your south node is in Aries or the first house. So with this energy, your dance is to learn how to dance between this me mentality and also other people. When you have your Libra or 7th house North Node, you need to understand how to work with others because there could be a natural tendency, or at least in a past life, you had the tendency to be me, 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 only me, it's about me, and to be a little bit aggressive and not to really care about how you treated other people. So in this life, you really have to understand and learn how to work with people, how to work with others, how to collaborate with others, how to have business partnerships with others, how to have relationships with other people and knowing that it's okay it doesn't always got to be about you all the time yeah there might be a tendency to be selfish there might be a tendency to just only think about yourself but now in this lifetime you kind of have a duty to learn how to also incorporate other people into your vision you might have a tendency to be too impulsive it's about taking time to really think things through Libra is an air sign you gotta learn how to think things through and not just to act boldly and courageously straight from your emotions you gotta think things through you might have a tendency to do things and not think about the consequences but in this lifetime you gotta learn how to build harmony how to be diplomatic you know how to embrace relationships you might even have to find ways to release your stress and to release your natural tendency to be angry because maybe like when you were a kid you had to maybe you had to like fight or maybe you had to really feel like survival mode you had to be on survival mode for some reason or maybe you had to put a lot of energy into your own personal achievements whatever the case is now you have to kind of focus on <sighs> relaxing breathing chilling being making the peace you know what i'm saying maybe this is even getting involved into art or doing something that can really help you relieve your stress i'm feeling like root chakra maybe you need to work on your throat chakra i'm feeling your root chakra and your sacral chakras lower chakras and your and your throat chakra i'm feeling might need some work you know for you to for you to really soothe this energy you got to learn how to work as a team and to lose the ego you have to learn how to Think about other people's feelings and how other people would feel. This is the perfect placement for learning how to work in a team and you may have a karmic destiny to even get married to another person or at least a lifelong partner. And so some people that are watching this are gonna be like, oh my God, marriage, connecting with people, oh my God, that's a lot. I don't wanna lose that because you might be afraid of losing your freedom. Either way, you have to learn how to embrace this relational mindset in your life. So please take your time. Please connect with others. Please embrace making the peace. You don't always gotta shake a bunch of shit up and to destroy stuff. And sometimes you have to be the peacemaker. I'm not telling you to lose your warrior mentality. I'm just telling you to think a little bit more about how that's gonna affect other people in the world around you. Don't forget to be generous and also sometimes you gotta make sacrifices for the greater good for others. It's okay to make commitments. Make commitments. 
Make commitments to others, make commitments to yourself, make commitments in this lifetime. It's all right. You don't got to be scared of making commitments. You got this. And you know, in this lifetime, there could be a tendency to get angry, to get angry really fast and to tell people off and get argumentative and to just lose it. But you need to integrate this energy, right? You don't want to completely lose that, but you want to also maybe fight for other people. Fight and use that warrior energy to fight on the behalf of other people and not just yourself might run into a lot of people in your life where you're like oh I could be in a relationship with you but you could run away from it because you're like oh my god that's scary though I don't want to do that because I want to be I want to keep on moving I want to make sure I can do what I got to do in this lifetime but you know you're supposed to understand and learn how to balance relationships with your own agenda as well because maybe in a past lifetime you had to fight for your life maybe you couldn't rely on the people around you maybe you were in a war a literal war zone and you had to fight to survive and maybe you lost your family so you were just looking out for yourself because you knew the person your neighbor would take from you if they could because they didn't have resources either so you have this natural intensity about you that's like nah I'm not here for other people I'm here to learn how to you know to, to build something for myself and I got to protect myself I have to I don't want to commit to anybody or do anything when it comes to other people it's about me it's all right you can be in commitments you can have commitments to others to really do it and if you're already naturally doing it good for you if you're already naturally partnering with other people or creating things with other people whether it's relationships business whatever the case is you're walking into your destiny so try it out let me know what happens let me know what your experience is comment down below when your north node is in Scorpio or the eighth house that automatically means that your south node was in Taurus or the second house so with this energy and with this dynamic you are learning how to transform you're learning how to go from this energy of being so attached to luxurious things or material things to money itself to everything this physical material world has to offer you're going from this type of energy and you're learning how to see the beauty in the unseen you're learning how to dive into the unseen you're learning how to dive in all the hidden secretive parts of life and to get really down in there there might even be some indications here that you may have some karmic debt that needs to be released and you need to learn how to get into the dark side of yourself to get into your shadow self to do some shadow work to experience the darker undertones of yourself and to heal those and to remedy those but to be able to do that you got to get in there you got to understand that you aren't perfection you got to understand that sometimes there are some things within yourself that aren't in perfect harmony this life is about exploring your spirituality this life is about even exploring your sexuality it's about making deeper connections with people even through sex it's about either even healing sexual issues issues, healing sexual trauma, gaining power, having power in this life, but not just having power because you have a bunch of luxurious things, but being this, you are kind of like the person that is holding the puppets while the puppets are just doing this thing. There is a person that is above the puppets and they're making the puppets do whatever they wanted to do. The puppets have no knowledge of this. They just, they're just doing what they're doing. You are meant to learn how to strategize. You're meant to learn how to make things move for you behind the scenes you are meant to have some type of magnetism to your career maybe even you are meant to have to learn how to make money move for you okay and also a big part of your life journey and your purpose is to learn how to reinvent yourself as a Taurus south node there might be a tendency to have everything secure because you know this is the second house right so you came from the first house that's like no I gotta go out there I gotta find what this world has to offer and then once you found what this world has to offer you're coming to the second house or Taurus where now you have to like you know create security you have to create this secure your life for yourself that you found right so now you want to hold on to things that mean a lot because before you were without so maybe now you have to learn how to really kind of put less of an emphasis on those material things put more of an emphasis on how do those material things even exist what is energy what is matter you know this could even be the person that needs to learn how to dive deeper into things right to learn about energy to learn about spiritual healing to learn about meditation to learn about what this world has to offer the hidden side of this world I'm glad that you're here because you need to learn about astrology you need to learn about the occult things that people are scared of you're here to experience
this could be a person that has everything you could have all these luxurious things you could have money come to you easily you could have everything you need physically and materially man you're missing some type of spiritual evolution and that's what this life is going to encourage you to do it's going to encourage you to spiritually evolve to, to get to know yourself and the people around you on a more deeper level you're getting away you're completely getting away from the surface and you're going deep down in there and sometimes it is scary sometimes life is going to try you life is going to completely destroy the stuff that you made and the stuff that like you you created for yourself could completely destroy you might go through times where you have nothing or you feel like you have nothing but you have everything you need when you are connected to your spirit and you got to know that you will overcome you got to know that you will reinvent yourself sometimes you got to destroy everything to reinvent yourself and to be the person that you were always meant to be but you won't see that if there was never any turmoil if there was never any true destruction so you have to learn how to embrace the transformations in your life do not be resistant to change do not be resistant to change do not be resistant to change because you came here to change baby you came here to deal with your shit. Okay, so when you have a Sagittarius or ninth house north node, that automatically means you have a um, Gemini or third house south node. So with the Sagittarius ninth house north node, you need to learn how to get lost in this life. You need to go all over the world. You need to travel. You need to get out of your hometown and you need to explore what this world has to offer. You need to get on that plane and go to Japan. You need to get on that plane and go to different countries in Africa and to explore different cultures, to experience different religions. It, maybe it even has to do with going to college and getting higher education. Maybe it's expanding your mind and expanding your present view on reality. Maybe in past lives or earlier in your life, you're, you have a tendency to to be so stuck in your hometown or so stuck in your current mindset or maybe you just had so much going on you were focusing on a bunch of different things that you forgot to look at things from a deeper more expansive perspective but this life is going to urge you to like go out there and get educated by life and to explore these things to get philosophical to ask the deep questions and to get those deeper answers by experiencing life that is what this world is asking you to do you could be scared of getting on Planes. You could be scared of being by yourself. You might hold on too tight to your family and friends, but this life is asking you to be a leader. This life is asking you to be courageous and to be adventurous and to see what this world has to offer because it's so big. It's so big, but once you see it, you're gonna be big too. You're gonna have this expansive mindset too. It's to have these big ideas and to share these with the world. This is the preacher. This is the, the speaker. This is the person that says everything and tells the world about their findings this is what you need to do in this lifetime you can travel the world and then come back down to your hometown to your family to your friends and tell them expand their minds tell them what you experienced share this with the world this is a part of your destiny there might be a tendency to gossip a tendency to have a bunch of meaningless conversations with people and to just you know make content or just to create things that really have no meaning they aren't that deep it's kind of like Ugh, it's not that important but this life is urging you to have this curiosity, right? That curiosity that you naturally have. But once you find that thing that sets your soul on fire, to get in there, to get deeper with it, to get more expansive with it, to give it meaning, to have this higher meaning to whatever it is that you're doing, to whatever it is that you're passionate about, and to expand band it out to the world so get rid of this pointless conversation get rid of being too focused on the little details and the logistics of everything and just get lost sometimes things don't need an exact answer it is your destiny to explore the world so you can come up with your own personal belief system and realize that everybody doesn't always have to like you either you can be bold and not everybody's going to accept your boldness, not everybody's going to accept your truth, but as long as you are feeling true to yourself, that is the thing that matters the most. And that is a big part of what your destiny and what your journey is going to be like and something that you really need to do to feel fulfilled in this lifetime. When your north node is in Capricorn or the 10th house, that automatically means that your south node is in Cancer or the 4th house. So with this energy, with your north node in Capricorn, you have to really learn how to, I hate to say it, but let go 
of being overly emotional because there could be a tendency in this lifetime to be overly emotional or to create these over attachments to other people and then you kind of forget about your career you could forget about what you want to do with your life you can you could forget about making a name for yourself because you're so focused on your personal attachments you might have a family that requires a lot of your attention and you love your family you really do but they're stopping you from growing and you know do making something of your own personal life you could be too shy you could be too f afraid to get out the house and to like create something for yourself but this lifetime is really asking and urging you to create a name for yourself to go after what you personally want as an individual to let go a little bit too much of your emotions and to use that natural intuition that you have to build something stable and structured in this life to get known for something to be known for being somebody outside of your family outside of your comfort zone to get outside of your comfort zone that that is what you need to learn how to do because cancer is comfortable. Cancer is nurturing. You gotta learn how to be uncomfortable. You gotta learn how to walk out the house. You gotta learn how to walk out of what makes you comfortable and learn how to be comfortable within your own career. Be comfortable within your own self. You might have abandonment issues. You might be afraid of being abandoned. You might have a tendency to rely too much on other people for your sanity and for your emotional fulfillment. So much so that you lose your sense of self at the end of day. You might have this victim complex but this Life is urging you to understand to take responsibility for your own goddamn life. Okay, it's teaching you how to take responsibility and to step out there and do what you gotta do. F all these emotions, I'm gonna do what I have to do. It's about being responsible and being responsible for yourself and your own actions, taking responsibility for your own life. You could have family issues. I know a person with this placement really well, and they have family issues. They have a family that's very, very destructive and going through a lot of times, and he often has to leave his home to nurture his family because he feels like he has to be the nurturer of his family to make sure everything is good when it comes to his home. But at the end of the day, he has a career, he has a job, and the more that he's focused on on other people the more he's forgetting about himself and what he has to do in this lifetime and he's talented he could be big you might even be meant to be a public figure you are meant to be recognized for something you are meant to achieve really high things but you gotta balance your home life and your career life you gotta learn how to balance this you gotta learn how to balance your home life and your school life you could be a type of person that's trying to go to school and do their thing but at the same time you can't you can't even focus in class because you're thinking about something your mom said to you but you have to learn how to how to balance this energy and to not forget about your own possible achievements and your own potential as an individual you gotta learn how to be wise you gotta learn how to be stern you gotta be learn how to be a little bit detached sometimes to do what you have to do because you are meant to achieve really big things in this life but you gotta learn how to balance your family life or you gotta learn how to balance this energy out so you can do this and realize your greatness. So with Aquarius or an 11th house north node that automatically means that your south node was in Leo or the fifth house and with this energy and with this dynamic this life is really urging you and asking you is asking you to be unique and to be innovative right it's asking you to dive into your natural genius energy and to make something so great and so amazing so that the whole world can be able to experience it you know what i'm saying it's to create something that is going to benefit society create something that's going to benefit humanity to to be a trendsetter to be a true trendsetter it's also this visionary energy to really see something in your head that could be unique could be out there it could be completely different than what people are used to and you might have a tendency to not want to actually share those unique outworldly ideas with other people because you might have a tendency to want to be liked way too much because in past lifetimes you were liked in past lifetimes people worshipped you and people loved you for it in this lifetime you gotta be weird you gotta be unique you gotta be different you gotta put yourself out there you gotta be creative you gotta be inventive you gotta be the genius that you know you are because it's there and you gotta share that with the world and sometimes you gotta ruffle little feathers and you gotta be unique you gotta be rebellious rebel against the status quo 
It's time to create the status quo. It's time to be the trendsetter, to create something that nobody and the world hasn't seen before and hopefully to be of service to the world in some type of way. Get involved in the community causes. Get involved in the causes. How can you be of service to humanity? Take a chance in this lifetime. Take a risk. Take a chance and do things different and unique. Create something that has not been seen before and you will feel fulfilled. Put yourself out there. You don't got to be liked. Not everybody got to like you. But do you like yourself? That's what matters. And you know, the Aquarius energy is a little bit more emotionally detached. So maybe you are too into your emotions. Maybe you are a little bit dramatic. You may have a natural tendency or you may have, or may have had a natural tendency to be too dramatic. And now in this life, in this lifetime, you got to think about it's, you know, man, it's not all about me. It's not, it's not all about me. I'm in this big world with all these people. We're literally on earth destroying our planet and we're not doing anything about it. We got to do something about this. And maybe you need to be a person that stands up for yeah we gotta save the earth create something unique in this world and be rebellious and put yourself out there but also care about other people care about what you could do for this world care about get involved in humanitarian things maybe you might find your heart is in humanitarian things make noise and take action and and encourage and inspire other people to take action as well onto these crazy things that can actually help us and humanity it might even be getting involved into technology as well getting involved into technology that's the 11th house too technology the internet and getting involved in anything before anybody else does or before it becomes the status quo okay so now we're at pisces north node or 12th house north node with the south node automatically being in virgo or the sixth house and it's actually pretty crazy because i was filming this video and I was coming to, you know, the last placement in this astrology episode. And every time I tried to record it and I tried to speak, my camera would not work. And I forgot I actually had a reading to do a little bit later in the day. It was actually a reading and when I saw her birth chart, she has nothing but this placement all throughout her chart. So it's obvious that the universe wanted me to learn more about this specific placement and hear her story and hear her way of life and to just see this play out so I can speak about it and talk to, you know, you guys about this specific placement. <sighs> Here's what I've received from that conversation and just like thinking about this placement more deeply. Um, you really are coming from a lifetime of understanding service and understanding how to serve other people. Um, as a Pisces North Node, you really have to understand how to move through this life with this compassion. You're learning how to develop compassion in a very, on a very selfless level. Your past energy was very, very meticulous. It was very exact. It was very perfect. The Pisces North Node is trying to teach you how to be more free flowing it's trying to teach you how to just go with the flow and to experience life for what it is it's trying to teach you how to be this selfless individual because the virgo helps in a very um practical way in this lifetime it really is asking you to help people and to take your natural born tendencies of being being the workaholic being the organizer being the detail plan oriented person and it's asking you to be able to merge that with this new pisces way of living this new compassionate imaginative dreamlike pisces way of living and to help other people through their issues because even the pisces energy this is like the most psychic energy in astrology this is the most spiritual the most psychic energy in astrology if you are learning how to be empathetic you are learning how to develop your spirituality you are learning how to develop that understanding and knowing of oneness that we are all connected that we all deserve to live a beautiful life you are learning that and you're learning how to be less hard on yourself you don't have to be so hard on yourself to know everything and to have everything done at the specific time this lifetime is really asking you to go with the flow and to embrace love to embrace oneness to embrace your higher sense of self it's to take things up a level that is almost inconceivable to many human beings but you're here to learn that you know you're here to learn how to be truly compassionate and to give to the world in a selfless way you're here to learn how to experience loving the journey and the process instead of having to have everything always all figured out at all times you've been given a chance to really just experience for experience's sake so take your time feel things out Express your emotions, connect with other people, give to other people selflessly, get involved with 
the spiritual realm whatever that looks like to you if it's religion and getting in tune with god that way if it's literal physical understanding energy and how this all works you just need to understand the higher meaning to this life it's time to be expansive with your emotions with your mental capabilities with really your connection to god whatever that looks like to you realizing that your life has a higher purpose and exposing that to others around you and living in that purpose and trusting in that higher purpose and trusting that your life has meaning, trusting that you are this spiritual being with all this spiritual understanding and power. And you wanna give that to other people. You wanna help other people. You want your life to really make a positive impact on a lot of people in a very spiritual and mental and emotional way. It's not all about the day-to-day -day routines. You had a past life that was all about being exact. Maybe you were a doctor. Maybe you had to be you had to be on time and you had to be perfect because if you were perfect, somebody's life was on the line. But in this lifetime, you can chill and relax a little bit and you can just expand and explore this realm. There's more than just this regular routine life that comes easier to you. There's more than just even your physical body. You know, it's more than just working out, going to the gym. It's more than just making sure everything's handled on the practical way, you know. <laughs> There's more than just these practical things and routines of life. There's way more. You are here to ex to understand and to experience way more. Whatever that looks like, whatever that feels like. Your physical body, no. Your spiritual body, your soul, okay? That is your destiny. That is your purpose. But yeah, that was the North Node series. I hope you guys truly, truly enjoyed that video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And tell me about where you are in your journey when it comes to your North Node energies. Are you balancing it correctly? Do you feel like you're fulfilled? Do you feel like you're walking in your purpose? Do you feel like you don't relate to your North Node at all? Or do you feel like you totally relate to your North Node and you're totally just in that space? Whatever it is, make sure you comment down below and share with me and like I said before if you want a reading and you want to talk about all these things with me to talk about these spiritual conversations to for me to look at your birth chart so we can analyze you and understand you and who you are and why you came to this world make sure you email me or slide in my DMs on Instagram all that in the description box but yeah y'all have a great day Mwah.